All right, so this is your goal. First step, get a piece of paper, name, table number, grade. Don't do anything else before you've done that first step. Once you have that and you come up to get your paint, then you're going to start by splitting up the paper into six sections. So I have three and three. They don't have to be perfectly even. I'm not going to get a ruler. I'm just going to draw my lines. If you want to think about it, it's about two fingers to make six. One, two, three, four, five, six. This one's a little bigger at top, it doesn't matter. All right, now I'm ready to begin painting. So I'll show you what that looks like when that starts. Okay, once you have your paint, you're gonna come up and also look underneath the sinks for a small water dish, a small brush, and a paper towel. By choosing a small brush and making sure you have your water and paper towel, you're gonna improve your painting by a whole lot. So I'm gonna count one, two, three up first, and I'm gonna paint just the third section with only the purple. So this isn't watercolor paint. I'm gonna dry my brush before I start painting. And like I said, I'm gonna paint the third one up. And I'm gonna begin by painting it as carefully as I can. Going slow around my edges. I'll show you what that looks like when it's done. Okay, so I have that all filled in. Next, I'm gonna clean my brush. So make sure to wipe it on the edge. Don't tap, because you're gonna get paint on your paper. And make sure to squeeze that water out. Now my job is to mix up a tint. So I have to be careful, because I want it to gradually change. I don't want it to have too much white in it. Um, but I do want it to look different from the original purple. So I'm gonna take a scoop of my white. Notice that my brush is clean so you don't see any purple getting into the white. I'm gonna clean my brush and I'm gonna get a little bit of the purple. The best way to test out if it is the right color or not is to spend some time mixing it together. So if your paint is splotchy it's probably because you didn't thoroughly mix it. So if I started to paint with this, although it looks kind of cool and swirly on my palette, it's gonna just look splotchy and ugly here. So I wanna continue to mix it until it looks like one solid color. I don't see any purple or white. It's all mixed together. I'm gonna kind of twirl my brush around to get the extra paint off. Now I'm going to kind of imagine I have to make this lighter three times. So I feel like I need to add a bit more purple to this before I start painting with it if this is supposed to be lighter and this is supposed to be lighter. So again, I'm going to get some of the paint off, grab a scoop of purple, and mix it in. Once I have it thoroughly mixed, then I'm going to begin painting it here. And I'm gonna continue that process here and here, making it get a little bit lighter each time. So I can just add a little bit of white when I'm done with this paint. All right, I have this ready, it's nice and smooth. I used almost the whole entire paint that I mixed up. So I'm gonna start from scratch and just make sure I add a little bit more white this time. So I'm gonna put a big scoop of white over here and a little bit of purple. Mix it, mix it, mix it. And then see if it's the right uh, tint. I'm gonna twirl my brush, get some of that extra paint off. One way to test it out is, I just put kind of a little dot right there. It looks pretty close, so I'm gonna add some more white. Most people don't mix it enough, and then that's why their painting turns out messy. Or another reason why their painting turns out messy is they try to paint with a brush that has way too much paint on it. 
So I always try to get some of that paint off before I start painting. And then that way my brush is nice and clean before I start. That looks pretty good. All right, so I think you have the idea. Have fun.